In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can make a conversion using dimensional analysis on two units in the same problem. Generally, when we have two units, it'll be something like miles per hour, feet per second, pounds per square inch, and every single two-unit label has the keyword per. As we set up these problems, per will represent the fraction bar as we set up our conversion factors and our problem. So here, we have a student who averages 45 miles per hour on a trip. We want to know what is the student's speed in feet per second. First, we will make those 45 miles per hour into a fraction. 45 miles per is the fraction bar, and then hour is what goes underneath it. Miles per hour is miles over hour. Also, looking at what we're going for is feet per second. We want feet per second, or feet over seconds. To make this conversion, then, we need a conversion factor. We have two units we need to get rid of. We want the miles on top to become feet in the numerator, and the hours on the bottom to become seconds in the denominator. First, let's take care of the miles, because dimensional analysis can only convert one unit at a time. The miles currently in the numerator, to divide out, will need to go in the denominator. They will become feet in the numerator. We can now look at the relationship between feet and miles. Looking it up on a conversion chart, we see that 5,280 feet is the same as one mile. So the 5,280 goes in the numerator with the feet. The miles divide out, leaving just the feet that we want. However, we still need to take care of the hours. The hours being in the denominator, we'll need another conversion factor in the denominator already. To get rid of them, then, they'll need to go in the opposite location, or the numerator. The hours, we want to become seconds on the bottom. The relationship is one hour is 3,600 seconds. Now, with hours in the denominator and hours in the numerator dividing out, we're just left with the seconds we're looking for. We finally have the units we want. We're ready to multiply out this problem. Multiplying across the numerator, we have 45 times 5,280 feet times 1, giving us 237,600 feet in the numerator, and 1 times 3,600 seconds, being 3,600 seconds in the denominator. Finally, we divide by the 3,600 to get 66 feet per second, or feet over second, for our final answer. The student who averaged 45 miles per hour was traveling 66 feet every second. We got this conversion by using per as the fraction bar and clearing one unit at a time, getting rid of the miles by starting with them in the denominator, and getting rid of hours by putting them in the numerator, so that the unit we did not want would divide out.